Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Roti. Soft flatbread often filled with curries, chutneys, or vegetables. Roti is a versatile and popular food item enjoyed in various cultures around the world, including Mauritius. In Mauritius, roti is a common street food and a staple in many households. It's a type of unleavened flatbread that's made from a simple dough and can be filled with a variety of ingredients, making it a convenient and satisfying option for both savory and sweet dishes. Ingredients Flour All-purpose flour or whole wheat flour is commonly used to make roti. Water Water is used to make the dough and bring the ingredients together. Salt A pinch of salt is added for flavor. Oil or ghee Oil or ghee, clarified butter, is used to cook the roti and give it a nice texture. Preparation Making the dough Flour is combined with water and a pinch of salt to create a soft and pliable dough. The dough is kneaded until it's smooth and elastic. Dividing the dough The dough is divided into smaller portions, which will be rolled out to make individual rotis. Rolling out the roti Each portion of dough is flattened into a thin, round disc using a rolling pin. Some cooks prefer to use their hands to stretch the dough into a circular shape. Cooking the roti The rolled out dough is cooked on a hot griddle or tawa. It's lightly brushed with oil or ghee on both sides as it cooks, which gives the roti a golden and slightly crispy texture. Variations While plain roti is delicious on its own, it's often used as a vessel to hold various fillings. For example, in Mauritius, roti can be filled with curries, vegetables, meat, or even sweet fillings like bananas and sugar. Roti is enjoyed in different ways in Mauritius. Plain roti Plain roti is often enjoyed as a side dish with curries or other main dishes. Farada. A layered version of roti that's flakier and often used to wrap fillings. Roti wrap. Roti can be filled with a variety of fillings, such as curries, chutneys, vegetables, and more, to create a portable and satisfying meal. In Mauritius, roti is not only a delicious food item but also a reflection of the island's multicultural influences. Whether enjoyed as a savory snack or a hearty meal, Roti is a beloved part of Mauritian cuisine. Farada. Flaky, layered flatbread served with curries, vegetables, or chutneys. Farada, also known as, paratha, is a type of layered and flaky flatbread that's popular in Mauritius and other South Asian cuisines. It's often enjoyed as a versatile accompaniment to curries, stews, and other dishes. Farada's unique texture and ability to be torn apart in layers make it a favorite choice among locals and visitors alike. Ingredients. Flour. All-purpose flour is commonly used to make farada dough. Water. Water is used to bring the dough together. Salt. A pinch of salt is added for flavor. Oil or ghee. Oil or ghee, clarified butter, is used to create layers in the farada and enhance its texture and taste. Preparation. Making the dough. Flour is combined with water and a pinch of salt to make a soft and elastic dough. The dough is kneaded until it's smooth and pliable. Dividing the dough. The dough is divided into smaller portions, which will be rolled out and layered. Layering with oil. Each portion of dough is rolled out into a thin disc. A thin layer of oil or ghee is spread on the surface, and the dough is folded or pleated to create layers. Cooking the farada. The layered dough is then rolled into a spiral or circular shape and cooked on a hot griddle or tawa. It's brushed with oil or ghee as it cooks, allowing the layers to separate and become crispy. Serving. Once cooked, the farada is served hot. It can be torn apart into layers, making it perfect for scooping up curries or enjoying with chutneys. Variations. Farada can be served in various ways. Plain farada. A simple and delicious option enjoyed with curries, stews, or other main dishes. Filled farada. Similar to roti, farada can also be filled with various ingredients such as curries, vegetables, meat, and even sweet fillings. In Mauritius, Farada is commonly enjoyed alongside savory dishes like curries, dole puri, and other Indian-influenced foods. Its flaky layers and rich taste make it a satisfying accompaniment that enhances the overall dining experience. Bouillon Poisson. Fish soup seasoned with local spices, vegetables, and sometimes noodles. Bouillon Poisson is a popular and flavorful fish soup that's enjoyed in Mauritius and other parts of the Indian Ocean region. This hearty soup features a variety of ingredients, including fish, vegetables, and aromatic spices, resulting in a comforting and nourishing dish. Ingredients Fish 
a variety of fish, often local and fresh, are used to make bouillon poisson. Fish heads, tails, and bones are commonly included to enhance the flavor of the broth. Vegetables. Bouillon poisson typically includes a mix of vegetables, such as onions, tomatoes, carrots, leeks, and cabbage. Aromatics. Various aromatic ingredients are used to flavor the soup, including garlic, ginger, thyme, and sometimes curry leaves. Spices. A blend of spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander, and fenugreek is used to create the soup's distinctive taste. Tamarind. Tamarind pulp or tamarind paste is often added to lend a tangy and slightly sour flavor to the soup. Chili. Some versions of bouillon poisson include a touch of chili or chili paste to add a hint of heat. Coconut milk, optional, in some variations. Coconut milk is added to the soup to create a rich and creamy texture. Preparation. Preparing the fish. The fish is usually cleaned, gutted, and cut into pieces. Fish heads, tails, and bones are often used to make the broth. Sautéing aromatics. Onions, garlic, and ginger are sautéed in oil until fragrant. Other spices like turmeric and cumin are added to develop the base flavors. Adding vegetables. Chopped vegetables, such as tomatoes, carrots, leeks, and cabbage, are added to the pot and cooked briefly. Creating the broth. Water is added to the pot, along with tamarind pulp or paste, and the fish parts. The mixture is brought to a simmer to create a flavorful broth. Simmering. The soup is allowed to simmer gently, allowing the flavors to meld and the fish to cook until tender. Adjusting seasonings. Additional spices, salt, and chili can be added according to taste preferences. Optional coconut milk. If using coconut milk, it's added towards the end of cooking to create a creamy texture. Serving. Bouillon poisson is typically served hot and enjoyed as a main course. It's often accompanied by rice or bread to complete the meal. The aromatic and savory flavors of the soup, combined with the tender fish and vegetables, make bouillon poisson a comforting and hearty dish that's cherished in Mauritian cuisine. Mine frite. A fusion dish combining Chinese-style noodles with fried rice and stir-fried. Mine frite, also known as Mauritian fried noodles, is a popular street food dish in Mauritius. This dish showcases the multicultural influences on the island's cuisine, combining Chinese-style stir-fried noodles with Mauritian flavors and ingredients. It's a flavorful and satisfying dish enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Ingredients. Noodles. Egg noodles or wheat noodles are commonly used for mine frite. These noodles are typically boiled and drained before being stir-fried. Protein. Mine frite can be prepared with various protein sources, such as chicken, pork, shrimp, or a combination of these. The protein is usually marinated with spices and sauces before cooking. Vegetables. A colorful assortment of vegetables is added to the dish. Common choices include bell peppers, carrots, cabbage, onions, and sometimes bean sprouts. Sauces and seasonings. Soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sometimes chili sauce or hoisin sauce are used to season the noodles. Garlic, ginger, and other spices are also added for flavor. Eggs. Beaten eggs are often scrambled and mixed into the noodles for added richness and texture. Oil. Oil is used for stir-frying the ingredients and preventing the noodles from sticking together. Preparation. Boiling noodles. The noodles are boiled according to package instructions, then drained and set aside. Marinating protein. If using meat or seafood, it's marinated with a mixture of sauces and spices to infuse flavor. Stir frying. In a hot wok or large pan, oil is heated, and the marinated protein is cooked until it's cooked through and nicely browned. It's then removed from the pan and set aside. Vegetable stir fry. The vegetables are stir-fried in the same pan until they're slightly tender but still crisp. Adding noodles and sauce. The boiled noodles are added to the pan along with the cooked protein. Soy sauce, oyster sauce, and other seasonings are added to create the characteristic flavors of mine frite. Scrambling eggs. Beaten eggs are pushed to the side of the pan and scrambled until they're cooked. Then, they're mixed into the noodles. Final toss. Everything is tossed together to ensure even distribution of flavors and ingredients. Poudine maize. Creamy cornmeal pudding flavored with vanilla and nutmeg. Poudine maize is a popular Mauritian dessert made from cornmeal. Also known as cornmeal pudding, it's a comforting and sweet dish that's enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Poudine maize is known for its creamy texture, fragrant aroma, and the delightful combination of vanilla and nutmeg flavors. Ingredients. Cornmeal. 
Coarse cornmeal is the main ingredient used to create the pudding's texture. Milk. Milk is used to create the creamy base of the pudding. Sugar. Sugar is added to sweeten the pudding. Vanilla. Vanilla extract or vanilla essence is used to infuse the pudding with its signature flavor. Nutmeg. Ground nutmeg is a key spice that gives poutine maize its distinctive aroma and taste. Butter. Butter is sometimes added to enhance the richness of the pudding. Preparation. Mixing ingredients. In a pot, cornmeal is mixed with milk to create a smooth mixture without lumps. Heating. The mixture is heated over medium heat while stirring continuously to prevent sticking and ensure even cooking. Adding sugar. Sugar is added to the mixture and stirred until it's dissolved. Cooking and thickening. The mixture is cooked until it thickens to a pudding-like consistency. This can take some time, and constant stirring is necessary to avoid burning or sticking. Flavoring. Once the pudding is thickened, vanilla extract or essence is added to infuse it with a pleasant vanilla flavor. Adding nutmeg. Ground nutmeg is sprinkled into the pudding to give it its characteristic aroma and taste. The nutmeg is stirred in to distribute the flavor evenly. Finishing touch. If desired, a small amount of butter can be added for extra richness. The butter is stirred until it melts and is fully incorporated. Serving. Poutine maize is typically served warm or at room temperature. It's poured into serving dishes and left to cool and set. Serving suggestions. Poutine maize can be enjoyed on its own, but it's sometimes served with a sprinkle of ground cinnamon or a dusting of nutmeg on top. It's a popular dessert during family gatherings, celebrations, and special occasions, offering a comforting and nostalgic treat that's deeply rooted in Mauritian culinary culture.